junk teams do. Junk teams is a junk removal business, and we basically take unwanted items out of people's homes and then properly dispose of them. We'll repurpose some of them at our warehouse, which is where we're at right now. We'll bring them to local transfer stations and just kind of dispose of them in the proper way. And people pay us for that service to make sure that that their items are properly removed and disposed of. Our main mission for the company is ultimately to empower the youth because when we were young and we, we first started, we were able to find this incredible opportunity. And we know that there's a lot of other young, hardworking guys out there who are probably looking for opportunities but might not know where to find it. And we wanna have a path for those other young guys to be able to find that opportunity. A while back when we first did that interview, there was a whole space um, behind our warehouse that we weren't even renting yet. So after that point, we took the further steps to be able to rent that space. And now what we do is we recycle metal there instead of going to the dump and having some of that metal end up in the trash where it's not recycled. We make sure that all the metal is in that area and then we bring it all to a recycling place at once. But then inside of the warehouse too, we make sure to bring furniture and other items. And before we didn't have someone on our team that took care of selling those things or repurposing them. But now um, one of our guys, Charlie, he takes care of that. So it's a lot more organized and we're able to move more volume through the warehouse now than, than it was before. Yeah, so if, if people look online, we have a large following on TikTok, Instagram, and now we're starting to grow our YouTube, but none of those social media platforms have really uh, built our success with the junk removal business itself. I would say Facebook is the social media platform that actually has got us business, and it's, we've been able to establish our local presence and, and show people like who we are and what we do. But those other platforms are more to build company culture and to show the guys that it's it's fun and it's not all about work at the end of the day. Like you can show up to work and have fun with it too. And that's what we like to show people through all of our other social media as well. So part of our culture is, is definitely working hard. It's work hard, play hard. And if someone shows up and all they're doing is just messing around, we don't like, we don't let people like that stick around. So it's, it's all about who you bring on to the team and maintaining a group of hard working but also people who aren't only there to work hard and know how to enjoy themselves at the same time. How has growing up in the Western community like inspired us to start our business? I would say, honestly, the constant support from the community alone, like we post in the Facebook group in Westwood and everyone there always wants to support us. And that's been a huge growth of our business from the beginning. And even in school, our own teachers and classmates, our teachers would always support us with our business from the beginning. But even all of our friends who have just wanted to be a part of this mission and work with us from the beginning, those are all, a lot of them are Westwood kids. And that's a huge way that the Westwood community has, has helped us in, since the start. So our plans with the business after college, at least for now, I still have two years left in college and Jacob is now gonna be a freshman and we both go to Babson College. And our plans after college for now are to continue running this business and growing it and being able to continue providing opportunities for local high schoolers and college students to have amazing summer jobs and after school jobs um, with us. And who knows where opportunities are going to take us, but for now we love what we do and we don't want to chase a greater opportunity and and kind of let this one go away because the grass isn't always greener on the other side and we have something that works. So we just want to keep doing what works.